Hi, Tony Mormino with Insight Partners. I'm here with Josh Howell, Regional Sales Manager with Dynamic Air Quality Solutions. How are you doing today? Doing great, having a great show. Awesome, thanks for inviting me over to your booth. So we're here and we're at the MJ Biz Conference in Vegas. And the MJ Biz Conference is all about growing cannabis in indoor grow rooms. And so we're going around talking to some of our partners. Dynamic Air is a great partner of ours. And so, Josh, let's talk about what's in grow rooms that we don't want in there, and then how we get rid of that with your product. Sure. Um, the for, for grow spaces specifically, uh, the two biggest deals are powdery mildew and mold. Um, you also have some, some problems with pollen, just because pollen with other types of plants, they don't want anything in there that could potentially make them, you know, the yield smaller or lead to any kind of mold or mildew type deal. Right. And really that ranges from small things to pretty big things, and they are both different kind of challenges from a filtration standpoint. So you're talking about the pollen that like comes off the plants naturally or comes from, in from, from, other, from outside? So from it might outside. come in on somebody's clothes or it, something it, like that? That's another way that things come in. Um, okay. when we specialize in helping, you know, take that stuff out from an outside air HVAC per yeah. side, but right. anything getting into those grow rooms um, from the outside could potentially uh, harm a whole crop. Right, of right. Cannabis it could be brought right. in numerous ways because we don't typically bring in outside air to grow rooms, but still stuff can get in. Sure, or the re right. right, and then then you then what comes in is we can help on the recirculation, right, of the right, room. Right. right, stuff may come in there and we can take it out before it causes too much harm. Okay, so recap. What are the things we're trying to get out again? Powdery mildew. Powdery mildew. Mold. Any kind of mold spores. Um, spider mites is another one that can get in Ooh, there, and yeah. they're little little real little guys that can even get through. You know more cost effective or cheaper you know store-bought right, filters right, right? They, they, they can get through that kind of stuff um, now once they have this problem start with mold or spider mites or something, it's not easy to get it, I understand it, it's like a nightmare right? it is not easy to get because half the time right. you go in there and you, you you fix what you see whereas there's plenty of spores on the other stuff that you can't see with the naked eye so yeah um, it's very hard the source control or preemptive control is by far the best you know mechanism yeah for, for sure for our, uh, helping your Problem. Okay, so we got the stuff in the air. How does your product get it out of the air and what, what does it do different? So, so what we do at Dynamic Air is, is, is we engineer air quality, you know, filtration solutions for, for, for a wide range of commercial applications. And what we use is we use polarized media technology. And, and really the big difference is that, you know, every filter has some type of media, whether it be synthetic, whether it be spun glass, anything that it could have. But what we actually do is we apply a charge to the media. And, and it ranges in, in all of our products, it's done a little bit differently. But, but what that gives us is it gives us what we call 360 degree loading. So every fiber of this media, we can hold dust on all sides. We can hold way more dust. And you also get the static, electrostatic attraction that right. helps to get things that would go through normal as, filters. As opposed to face loading only, which is just the stuff grabs on the front of the filter and the rest of it's kind of just sitting there. Exactly, if right. all you have is a passive type media, right. right? All the particles can do is they, whatever doesn't go through the hole stops, right? Um, and that limits you on basically what you pay for in a filter and your maintenance life. Yeah. Uh, we tend to get, you know, compared to a standard passive this same size, we would get three to four times the life. Right, so if you're doing right. three months, these can make a year, you know, and that saves you money in the long run. Um, yeah, and talk about the MERV rating too and the pressure drop in relation to that. Right, right? absolutely. Like, so the pressure drop's really low. And then, yeah, so talk about right. that for a minute. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so the biggest benefit to the, to the customer ends up being that for the amount of filtration that you get, we are the lowest operating cost. And that's really the story. It's We offer products from MERV Even when 13, you take into account the power required for Absolutely. Which is, and, and which we, is minimal, we, right? Right. We do a ton of uh, you know, life cycle cost analysis type mm -hmm. deals. Um, but... It's milliamp current. You can run, uh, I think they set off one, one 15 amp circuit up to like 350,000 CFM of air. Wow. So the current yeah. draw is minuscule Very to the low. energy safe. Right. 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 So, I mean, really, I said from MERV 13 to MERV 15 with our V8, um, you get about half the static pressure of a comparable passive. So you get that high level with less of the energy penalty. If you've got smaller equipment, things like that, we can come in and get you basically the best you can get for the energy, the energy penalty. Right, right. Great, and that works well on retrofits too because you don't have to worry about the Absolutely. additional static pressure you would with a big HEPA filter or some kind of large right. filtration product. So many people in, in, in this space specifically buy a space to use as a grow that yeah. was not intended to use as a grow, right? And they may not have enough airflow or enough 
uh, power in their fans to run a high efficiency filtrate, filter. Whereas we can get you a MERV 13 and, and, and the fans Not the same problem. as it was before right, with the, with the right. less I, lesser IEQ you know, protective product. Awesome, so this would be, you can mount this in, in the side in this position. Sure, Or you could do sure. like a V-bank situation like this here. Uh, applying Chris, it. Chris, our amazing cameraman's yeah. gonna pan <laughs> over here. And uh, so this would be a V-bank v product. This would be a larger, you know, right. lower pressure drop, higher loading capability type product. But you don't need to do that. You could just do a flat filter. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I mean, we, we do these in one inch. I mean, this will go anywhere that a one inch, you know, store-bought filter will buy. We'll, we'll go. We can put them in custom sizes. Um, any type of system this will go in. We have two inch as well. When you go up to the V, the V bank or the V8, it does go up to a modular filtration system. And you're probably thinking, hey, that's, that's really huge. How am I gonna get that in any of my stuff? Well, for a lot of large grows that we've done, they'll build this into the ductwork. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, build something like this enclosure right here, which this, this is built by us, but case it somehow, right? And it, it protects right. each room uh, fr from a ducted standpoint. And, and, and when you get into something this big, Space, space constraints is an issue for this. Right, But right. the benefits you get when you go to something this big, these will typically last four to five years without touching a filter. So zero maintenance to the owner for four or five years, and at that four or five years, you're less than, a, less than buying a two-inch filter from the store static pressure-wise right, and right. resistance-wise on your system. Great. So mold, powdery mildew, Spider bites, spider bites, and, and I think aspergillus is another one that sometimes they worry about. That sounds dangerous. That's, I don't know that's, what that's it is. That's a big one for dangerous. hospitals, yeah. but really gotcha. it's a moisture thing. If you're, it's bred from some type of moisture, but it can get into the air. So, um, yeah. as well, easy low investment to to protect a large. Absolutely, uh, a large we're, investment of crops. Yeah, we're we're all about protecting the plants and giving basically you the best bang for your buck from an energy standpoint. All right, well let's t tell us real quick. Uh, let's finish it off with an announcement you guys have coming soon around the AHR show. Is that right? Absolutely, we'll be unveiling this at the you know national AHR show in Atlanta this year. I think it's in February, but uh, we, we've got some samples here. This is our new Edge activated carbon product, and so. Cleaning the air in the room for the plants is one part of this. Equally important is odor mitigation. Oh, Depending on yeah. where, your, where your grow is, if you're in the city or wherever it is, you could have code or you could have complaints that you want to take down. Uh, our new activated carbon, we have a specific blend for grows and for terpene removal. Um, and it's really, we like to be hands-on on this. We like you to tell us what you've got and how many plants you've got and what the complaints are. Design and we'll help you facility. design right. so that it'll work properly. Carbon is all about getting the airspeed where you want it, getting the dwell time so that you can get proper absorption and efficiencies. Awesome. So call us, reach out. We've got, we've got a couple chemical engineers on staff that, that have developed this product and they can help you get where you need. Great. Thank you, Josh. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for being Thanks an for amazing partner. By. Absolutely. And thank you for watching. And if you want some information on this or any of our other products, check us out at insightusa.com. And thank you for watching.